Welcome everyone, Mike with Bowers Barbecue coming to you today from Disney Springs in Orlando, Florida. We're here to check out the Fly Pig, see if we can find great barbecue outside of Texas. But first, we gotta start the fire. Okay, so we've made it through the line. Um, it wasn't too bad, we only waited about 10 minutes max. Um, you order at the counter, you get a little table placement, they come out here and bring you your food. Um, you also have a waiter, so if you want any drinks from the bourbon bar or want more food, you don't have to wait in line again. I think that's pretty awesome. I think a lot of barbecue joints in Texas could definitely do that. Okay, we have brisket, we have sausage, we have ribs, we have sliced pork, and they were kind enough to um, sub out the chicken for turkey, which I'm excited about. They're well known for the Brussels sprouts. We also got mac and cheese. Let's dig in. Okay, so from the time that we ordered, we got our food, five minutes. Nothing bad at all. Um, first up here, got the sausage. Looks like generic smoked sausage. Let's see how it tastes. It's not too bad. I hate to say it, but it reminds me of Eckridge, but I like Eckridge. Next up, some of this turkey. Again, I substituted the smoked chicken for turkey because I love smoked turkey. That's really good. This reminds me of Texas turkey. Rub's a little sweet, very smoky. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. We Next up, cocktails, bourbon, so you know? an old fashioned would be great. Yes, sir. So when it comes to the pork, you actually have the option of pulled or sliced. I went for sliced. You don't get that often, too. This looks amazing. Nice and marbled. That's damn good. <laughs> this is my favorite so far. Man, if this was on a Texas menu, you would not leave upset. This is phenomenal. That sliced pork, dude. All right, next up is the ribs. These are double cut. And again, this is an add-on. It was $7 extra. Nice and sauce. Let's take a bite. I'm going for another bite. That's a really good rib. The smoke the JR and rotisserie pits put on here is pretty good. I am. I'm not mad at this at all. Okay, next up is the brisket. Before we get to that, let's go to today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Fantastical Vacations, a concierge travel agency specializing in Disney, Universal, all cruise lines, and some all-inclusive resorts where all of the planning services are completely free to you. You can email Mike and Kara at fantasticalvacations.com to learn more. Okay, last up is the brisket. They didn't ask if I wanted lean or fatty. They did give me fatty. I'm okay with that. A little bit of sauce from the ribs on there. It's good. I want another bite. It's a coffee rub. A little bit of pepper. It's a good brisket. I'm loving everything so far. Getting value out of this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, uh, hit that subscribe button. And make sure you don't miss a single video, ring that notification bell. I have so much fun making these videos and having you guys come along makes it that much more enjoyable. Okay, next up is our mac and cheese. How good does this look? 
I like the shells, creamy. This is delicious. This is delicious food. Then finally, we have their Brussels sprouts. This is a bourbon bar. They do have a bourbon glaze on them and they're fried. I hear they're delicious. Let's give it a try. Normally, I like Brussels sprouts, but the ones at 407 were phenomenal. Hopefully, these are too. That sweet bourbon glaze with a um, soft Brussels sprout, that's legit. Now I got a tip from my friends over at Addicted to the Mouse. They said that you had to take the Brussels sprouts and dip it in the barbecue ranch sauce. That's good y'all. I like it on its own, but even that sauce, so great. Now, as far as salsas go, they have they have four. They have um, like a Carolina mustard, a sweet, and a spicy. Let me take a little bit more of that pork and try the Carolina mustard. I'm not gonna say it's good or bad. It's not my style. Let's try the sweet and spicy. That was definitely the sweet. Too sweet for me. The spicy tastes just like the sweet. Not much kick to it at all. I'm gonna continue this meal without sauce. This is good. All right, back in a moment. Okay, so one of my favorite things besides barbecue is bourbon. They have a delicious old fashioned here. Man, their bourbon list was insane. You know, they have everything. Even the um, Buffalo Trace Antique Collection, Pappy 23, you name it, they have it. Most pours are pretty reasonable price, but that BTAC was out, out of the range I'm willing to pay this weekend. It's good, it's good. The server was telling me they have a little bit of sweet tea in there. I don't taste it. This is one of the better old fashions I've ever had. Let's try a little bit of cornbread. Standard cornbread. My family's over here, enjoying it. Wife said it might be some of the best mac and cheese she's ever had. Pretty good. That turkey mac and cheese combo? Oh yeah. What's your favorite? You said the turkey? The carrot? The pork? So yeah, all the meats are really good. I wouldn't be disappointed to get any of these meats in Texas. In fact, I've had worse in Texas. Um, I would have to go the sliced pork. That's the way to go. The ribs, and brisket, turkey, sausage. Good lineup. I am. Um, yeah, I wish I got more of that slice of pork. That was really good. So, I want to try that that barbecue ranch on the turkey. That barbecue ranch would go into anything, including my old fashioned. That was really good. So, like many of you, I'm a part of a lot of barbecue message boards or Facebook groups. Everyone says you can't get good barbecue outside of Texas. You absolutely can. But what made me want to film this video is I constantly see people saying, I'm going to Disney World with my family. Where can I get barbecue? Now, the place I usually suggested, believe it or not, was um, at Animal Kingdom. They have Flame Tree Barbecue. One of the top 10 pit masters in Texas told me his guilty pleasure was that place with the pulled pork uh, cheese fries. I got those. They were absolutely right. But overall, the best barbecue in Disney World is here at the Polite Pig. This is, this is good stuff. Like I've said many times in this video, if I were to get this in Texas, I would be mad at it. So, that was delicious. Um, today's day one for this Disney vacation for us. This is a great way to start our trip. Total for everything on the butcher board was uh, $55. And don't forget, we added the ribs to that, which is an additional $7. Um, great deal. The, the menu says it's for two, 
but it easily fed my family of three. We actually had a slice of brisket left. So um, yeah, great deal. So if you're at Disney and you want barbecue, I cannot recommend this place enough. It's fantastic. Is it the best barbecue you've ever had? No. Is it fantastic barbecue that's gonna make you happy? Absolutely yes, it is. So you guys need to plan a Disney trip. Please use my wife and I. Like I said, we'd be more than happy to help you out. Not only do we help you with uh, booking hotels and getting theme park tickets, we help you with everything. We can tell you where the great food is. We can tell you where the bathrooms are. We know these parks inside and out. It's part of our job. This place means so much to our family. We love it here. I thank you so much for watching. Until the next video, the fire is out.